Shauna Bernardin and I'd like to welcome you back to our next episode of GGTV. Thank you guys. We have over 700 subscribers in three weeks. Oh my God, crazy. We are having so much fun. A huge shout out to Mickey Zanner at the Custom Pat Boutique. And one thing that Mickey brought to me this weekend that was so exciting, so I wanted to really share this kind of journey project with you. Mary, if you can see, she always has a little bit of red on her face. It drives me crazy. I have tried hundreds of products. I don't want to use any bleach on her. She's our little pet. She gets bathed once a week, every week. So I want to show you guys this brand new product. So this particular product is made by one of my really, really good friends, Kitty de Gersti from Belgium. And one thing I will tell you about Kitty is she's a perfectionist. Now, I spoke to her on the phone about this particular product this morning so I could find out exactly how to use it. So what she said is, first of all, this is her number one selling product right now from Showtech. So it's just a blue bottle. You're gonna open it up and we're gonna just take a cotton swab and we're going to moisten that. And what you're gonna do, you need to do this every day for 30 days. You should see results very low, she told me. And you're just gonna, there's no uh, danger to the eye. You're just gonna wipe all the way around the eye on both eyes every day. Okay, and then your next step after you that is you're going to use the tear stain remover. This again, there's no bleach in this product, so no harm is going to be done. So you're just gonna open this little pot up and take your little Q-tip. I like to have everything ready, handy little tip there. So we're just gonna put this on. Now, I know this seems like maybe a lot of work, but for me personally, like this is my own dog and I know in my own commercial grooming business, I have tons of people asking me about this. So we're gonna watch, see how this goes. We'll come back and we'll see every couple of weeks how her face is doing. Oh, and another thing, I'm doing this right before she goes in the bath. So you wanna keep this product on. You can see I really quite heavily coated it on her and we're gonna let that dry before we give her a bath. But the big ingredient in here is actually clay, so that actually helps pull the color out of the face. I'm so excited to see uh, the results on this one. This one's actually kind of personal because it's got a little dog in it. So I have to say, I'm super happy with the first application. Like, I think you guys can see, that's very impressive. And all we did was did one wiping with the tear stain liquid treatment with the clay liquid. So I'm also going to give you guys a bit of an Asian fusion haircut. Mary always rocked it. She's been in, I don't know, at least five or six different fusion haircuts, but today we're gonna to go with a little short mustache and something around the top. I'm gonna to take the attachment quite tight under her neck. That's gonna give her a little bit more neck, actually, give her an illusion. And I sort of just slide it off the elbow. Okay, so just to recap on that one more time, we're gonna leave a bit of that because we wanna be able to scissor that. And I'm just sort of blending it off the sides so I can get that flared effect on the legs. And generally, I use a rule of three. I go around the body three times. So you can see that's taken a great amount of hair off in just a couple of minutes. Uh, it looks like she lost four pounds. It's Mary's secret diet. So then I want to scissor the leg. So I've already got her nails done and her pads done. Make sure you do that every time. Make sure they have a bath and a blow dry. Super important. Every good haircut starts from the ground up. So if you don't have a good bath and blow dry, you can't possibly achieve a good haircut. So I use a nice uh, curve shear. These are Japanese curve shears. And she has a very bad leg. She got injured. She had her leg broken when she was a puppy. So I have to be extra, extra careful. So I just really, I just take the foot barely off the ground, just shifting her weight. And I'm very careful not to get into the top of her foot. Then I just reshift her weight in the air in all directions. And the 
this is how you're going to set up your little bubbles. You've already created the line underneath, so now I'm just going to take those curved shears and follow it around to the shuttle. And one quick trick is you're always working from underneath and you're scissoring them around. Now this is going to take a bit of time for you guys and a lot of practice. I'll tell you, I sure wasn't perfect at bubbles when I first started. I hope these tricks are going to be helpful for you. You can see how that's coming together. I'm just going to show you the front bubble. And uh, I'm just going to use a little tiny spray, a little spritz. So I'm going to comb that straight down to the end. And I'm going to take my little curve shoot again. And I'm just going to dust the end and create a line. Now, I'm creating a little bit bigger bevel now than I would, say, example, on a commercial dog. Because this is a specific style that we're going for. But you can see the line is created. I put the weight back down and now I'm just going to go back around and I'm going to follow that curved line. That is how you create that bell bottom look that the Asian fusion always has. Fusion face. One thing that I really feel that you guys need to understand is that just have freedom. Look at each dog individually. Typically on the Asian fusion faces, their face is quite short. Uh, they have the mushroom top. There's a million different more about it. Right now, Mary has been fighting some on again, off again ear infections, so we are keeping her ears on the shorter side. That's just actually for her health. And I like to keep her face in a cute little round face. So we're, I like to use the thinning shears. Now one thing that you always remember when you're vision is they always make them look like they're smiling. So I, I, I found that really helpful for myself when I was first learning. See, I'm just setting that line and I'm just going to make it right around. And I'm just coming around as if she was smiling. I'm going to over direct her bang line and just slightly. And for this particular part, I'm going to use these curved chunkers. And I like it to be just slightly bead over her eye. That's a personal preference. I feel like fusion is a really good place for you guys to push your artism. You guys are all artists. Go and have some fun. Show me your crazy faces. So we're just going to go around. I feel like you guys really need to spend time. Go slow and steady on these. Always working in a little round fashion. If you notice, I'm not taking it to off of it, and also I work on it a lot. I work on her face every week. I really don't like when she's scruffy. She loves spaghetti, it's her favorite thing to eat, so she always has a little red beard in this little girl. So the top of the head is generally the, the last place that I'm going to take, and because we've done the whole rest of the head round. Now one thing, you could take this right over the ear. You see, that's a very cute look. She's a lot of times, right now, I don't know, I'm in the middle right now. I'm, I'm sort of growing her into a mushroom head or I haven't really decided. So right now I'm just scissoring it softly over the top of the ears. But just remember that you have choices here. So I'm gonna finish up her face and then we're just gonna come back and give a quick overview. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video with little Mary White. She is absolutely the cutest little dog and I just love her to death. I think she'll have her own YouTube page at some point in time. As her owner and her groomer, I just have to give two thumbs up to this stuff. I am super, super happy with how white her face is. This, she's seven. I've had a problem with this her entire life. So I'm definitely, her face is, this, she's seven. I've had a problem with this her entire life. So I'm definitely gonna do this stuff again. I'm gonna document it with you guys. That's for uh, the Show Tech No More Tears liquid stain remover and the clay. Two thumbs up to my friend Kitty Gagurski in Belgium. Awesome, awesome product. Thank you so much to my friend Mickey Zanner and the Custom Pet Boutique. If you guys are liking these videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, send us your requests. Thank you guys so much for your support. Help us get to a thousand subscribers. I'd like to uh, dedicate Mary's video today to our good friend who passed away in October last year. He's only 23 years old. He's a super talented artist. He actually uh, did this photo of Mary. He was a big, big fan of Mary. And uh, Dominic Maseko 
So I just wanted to uh, tell you guys for awareness. There's a lot of bad stuff out there. If you need some help, make sure you tell me. You get some help out there. This one's for you, darling.